welcome this is the energy vibration for the gemini's this is the third week of august 2016 and this is the week number 33 the week begins on 15 of august to until the 21st of august it is the week of the devil it is the element of fire and the zodiac energy of also fire um, the, um, the key word is there is going to be a lot of fears. You're going to be afraid of stuff. A lot of things are going to come up. It's a week where you be balancing all the stuff that is happening here on the hurt, but in the justice system or with other people. So it's, it's a week where the devil and justice is here together. So be careful out there. Um, it's the week of willpower, the color of the week, choose a color. I would say take white because you need to purify this week. You Gemini's, um, the energy for this week for you guys is harmony. You're trying to bring back harmony in your life because your life has been out of balance for a couple of months. Um, as I look at the week for you on Monday, the 15th, the era friend come up, you are working with an organization, whatever that organization is, is a huge group of people that is working in there. Maybe you're working with two, three person. It can be the city, all the, um, the bank, the mortgage uh, broker, it's, it's, it's the insurance company, the hospital It's one of these sort of institutes and so and when I look at this with organization and the lovers on Tuesday, for the people out there who are getting divorced or who are having legal suits at this time in court, if you were unjustly um, done something on Wednesday, you will get victory for this, okay? Uh, whatever is going on because the energy vibration of the legal system is here so if you were giving out good karma and someone has done you injustice on wednesday look for triumph as we um look at the energy for um thursday thursday comes with um the energy of strength and this is it when when we have these things because the devil governed the whole week that means you're working out situations with people and whatsoever happened on Monday and Tuesday, you have strength. And at the end of the week on Friday, thank God it's Friday, it is the hermit that comes up and he's saying, look within, connect with yourself with him. Because whatsoever had happened um, did not turn out in your favor and your thinking. But everything in life happened for a reason. And when we look at the weekend um, on Saturday, the sun comes out, which is bringing the sun is the source of all things. And whenever things have gone, not worked out in our benefits, because um, we should always remember that the um, universe vibrates with what we give out as a person. On Sunday, the judgment comes in and you're going to get information that you're not going to like. And um, sometimes this judgment comes out because sometimes we need to um, be aware that um, there's there are um, decisions that we make in our life that was not the correct way or was not the right way and was not the just way um the sibyl is for this week let me look and see what you gemini's have okay there's going to be a break it's going to be a break um and for the women out there, um, there is going to it's a masculine, it's a masculine energy week for you guys, and it there is going to be a break out there, and um, just just hold on tight because I know you Gemini's. This is a time that is just so it's it's unbalanced for you guys. You're you're just flapping from one stage to another, but just hold on. Um. The energy for you guys with the spiel of what's coming in is that um, there is going to be a break and ending in something. So I'm not sure what was going on, if it was some, something in the justice system or what. For the women out there, if you're looking for a relationship, actually, um, you're a Gemini, you're open for a relationship, someone will come um, your way in this week. So be open for it. It's a week of a lot of ups and downs, a lot of changes. The devil and justice is here. So be aware because a lot of stuff will be coming out and a lot of stuff you need to work out as a Gemini. 
And I want to say to you guys, it is not very easy the last couple of weeks, but stay tuned for the general energies. Welcome to the general readings for the week number 33, the 33rd week of... Okay, the first energy we have here is the number 33 from the Oracle. As I always call the Oracles, my grandmother cards. <laughs> and the message is chaos and conflict. Okay, it has been a week for some of the signs that has been um, a, a little bit of ups and downs. And whenever chaos and conflicts comes out, it is disarray, being at a crossroad with yourself and with others, the tension of of opposition forces the value of chaos before order. Sometimes a little chaos in your life is needed, okay? And the chaos actually remove the negative energies that we actually no longer need. So sometimes um, things and arguments and stuff comes and you wonder why. But sometimes these chaotic things needs to be in our lives so that we can um, it helps to remove the energies that are blocking us. OK. And I know it is not easy for each and every one of us. Not all of us can really deal with the energies of chaos and conflict, but it's okay. As I am looking at the other energies, we are having the energy of um, the camel boy. And this is the energy from the wisdom cards. And the camel boy is here. And he is saying to you, you know, just one step do small step at a time and ask the universe for help i have stressed it a lot of times a lot of people sit in situation and you are afraid to call out to the universe or your guides and angels and said please help me but when chaos and conflicts is here the camel boy comes with the wisdom to say to you take a little step at a time we cannot um, create and clear all the energies of everything around us everything takes divine timing so the camel boy is here ask him you can also call upon the camel boy if he's one of your guides and ask him because when we ask for help the help is always given to us I want to say to everyone out there, it is not easy, but at times we need to um, ask other people and ask the universe for help. And whenever we do that, then help will come in. As I move on to the next energy, um, the energy of the map, the energy of the map we have um we're going to look at the energy of um the energy card for the dog and it says um the door to romance okay when the door to romance um comes up the door to romance can mean the door to love a lot of love is going to open up this mean it can be the door to a lot of people who are going to come in to help you and touch you and help you on your journey to move you forward but whenever the door of love and romance comes up it is saying to you we have heard your cry we have heard your voices sometimes they send teachers in sometimes you find people um, on the web that help you sometimes you find information on the web but whenever the door of a romance come in that means the universe is going to send you help and it's good to just open up to that help what it's sending you and whenever you do that the next energy we have is the peak of joy. Whenever you open up and accept the help from the universe, 
then you feel a inner peace because then you will be flowing with the uh, the flow of life and you're not fighting against the current because whenever we fight against the current and we don't move with the flow of life sometimes we lose our job sometimes we lose and we sit in that position and we try for the same thing but sometimes the universe is just saying you need to let go of this energy you need to remove from these people you have cleared your karma try and do something something else remember who you are as a beam who you came to this planet to be and whenever you find it you start and you feel the peaks of joy and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back namaste